Hey there, I'm Dan Martell, serial entrepreneur, investor, and creator of SaaS Academy. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you how to fix literally any area of your business in the key without getting stuck doing the work. And be sure, say the end, we're gonna tell you how to get access to my precision scorecard framework. This strategy is gonna require you to measure accordingly in your business. And if you don't have the template, the scorecard, it's gonna be incredibly difficult, but let's dive in. So a few months ago, I was working with one of my private coaching clients and uh, they have a big business, but they were having a really hard time with the marketing team. Not necessarily with the person, they, they, you know, I always ask myself, is it a people problem or a process problem? They didn't have an issue with the person. They thought that they're the right person and um, that they had the right, you know, culture and drive and they really wanted to make it work, but it was literally two months of missing numbers. And at the end of the day, you know, my world, if you can't get a problem fixed within six weeks, there's something wrong. There's something wrong in your approach, something wrong with the people. We need to figure it out. So I sat down with my client and I said, look, here's, here's the reality. You know, you may have a, pe a people problem. I don't know, but you need to dive in. You need to get involved in the business to, to do it, but you need to do it in a way so that you don't end up adding to your workload, right? Like you wanna support the team, but you need to show them, you need to coach them to success. It's a big idea that I talk about often with my coaching clients, which is we build the people, the people build the business. So they went in, followed the step-by-step -step process I'm gonna share with you today, and within two months, 3x the ROI or the return on ad spend, that was their core metric, the return on ad spend efficiency for their paid ad acquisition. Why was it that they learned some magical new tactic? No, they just followed a process for fixing a problem in their business that is a skill, not a default character trait. It's not something, if you don't know how to do this, then it's not your fault. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to fix any problem in your business today. Strategy number one, deep dive. So the first thing I shared um, was the fact that they need to get everybody on, on the same page, okay? We need to deep dive into what's broken. It doesn't matter if it's a sales funnel, a marketing funnel, a uh, product, or whatever is broken in your business. You need to get everybody involved. So if you have agencies involved, you have team members involved, get everybody on the same page, but ask them to bring all the information, ask them to bring the numbers, get ready to talk to the reports, get ready to show you the thing that, that seems to be broken. If it's marketing, it's the ads, the landing page, the copy, the emails. Just tell them to get full on ready so that you can double click on different things to get perspective, right? And as the founder, you need to work with your leader to show them how to do this. Now, if you have other leaders on your team that know how to do this well, you can actually assign it to them to co-collaborate co with your leader. But if you don't have a big team and you need to, you could do this. I know if as a founder, there's no, you don't have a team if you're not good at solving problems, but you need to coach your teams to success. So step one is to go deep dive, look at it, walk through it, like analyze it, look at the creatives, look at the numbers, figure out from your perspective, working backwards from the customer's psyche, what is off about this and just keep pulling the string until finally you go, oh, I really think there might be something here, here and here that's off and we need to go and do some research around that, okay? Number two, benchmark. So when I say we need to go do research around it, what I mean is we need to figure out what the industry norms are. So if we're like, hey, we're not getting high click-through rates on our ads, what's industry norm for our, our category, for our, for our industry? How do I find that? Literally hitting Mr. Googs, okay? Mr. Googs is Google, and it blows my mind how often people don't take the time to search something as, uh, you know, in, in our world of SaaS. So SaaS conversion rates, SaaS, LTVs, SAS churn numbers, like literally whatever it is, where are you gonna find those answers? Typically on Quora, typically on a blog post, typically some research area. And we, I call them benchmarks because if I know, for example, my show up rate from a, a, a demo booked to show up is 30%, but I learn that the industry norm is 70%, 
then that is a huge gap. Now, I don't know how to solve it at this point, but at least I know where the gaps are. If I look at any problem beginning to end and look at all the steps involved and get some data around percent conversions and then go find out, either talking to colleagues, uh, ideally you're in a mastermind of sorts, you have a coach that you're working with and give you that perspective. You need to find the numbers. You can hit Mr. Googs, but what you wanna do is map out that funnel, figure out where the biggest gaps are, and then go try to reverse engineer who's doing this well. So the one way I do this that I, I share with my, my coaching client was go to your competitors and get remarketed to. Go look at their ads. You can go look on Facebook. Literally any Facebook page, you can go find out what ads are being run right now in the market and click the ad, go through their marketing funnel to figure out what are they doing that's different than you are. It's the copy, it's the positioning, it's the prompts, it's the, the landing page, the payoff page, the email sequence, the phone call you got from a rep. It's all these things that you just need to literally go into the industry you're in and reverse engineer, become an expert. Now you can do this, you can ask your leader to do this, but you need to figure out what the benchmarks are. Once you have the deep dive, you have the benchmarks, now we go into step three. So the third tactic is to build a plan. What does this mean? So for me, building a plan is the strategy, okay? So here's the strategy we're gonna use, okay? Strategy means sequence. Sequencing equals success. If we don't figure out the right strategy and sequence and, and get clear on the outcome goal, then we can build a plan that's not really gonna have a huge impact, right? So I'm always looking, if we look at that funnel again, maybe sometimes it's like we don't have the data. So then you say, well, first plan is instrument the, the metrics. And, that's, and I would say that's true for 60% of the people. They're trying to work on churn, what's your churn at? We don't know. Why? Because of the way our billing happens, it doesn't. it's not clear, perfect. Step one, figure that out. Okay, step two, uh, go test this idea. So try to run multiple parallel tracks. Again, don't lead any it, guide them to do that. Your leadership team, your team, guide them to go do it and have them report back to you. If you want an incredible book on this topic, it's called The One Minute Manager Meets the Monkey. And it's a, probably a 90 minute read that talks about you know, the monkeys on other people's backs and to not accidentally take the monkey and put it on your back and then end up having a whole bunch of work to do. It's definitely what happens to sole contributor people in a business that get promoted to management because they just, they feel like that's how I add value, that's unhelpful. It's actually harmful. So building the plan, getting clear on the sequence, getting clear on the areas of focus, getting clear on the outcome goal and the metrics that we should be hitting based on your research from the benchmark, that's how we start to at least find a go forward strategy. Number four is probably the most important. You could literally do none of the one to three, and if you did four, you would be directionally better and probably more productive than um, what you've been doing to date if you're stuck, and that is the review cadence, okay? So the review cadence is saying to the team, we're going to look at this problem three times a week potentially. If it's a big problem, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, until it gets better, until it starts to resolve itself. Or maybe it's twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Maybe it's Tuesdays and Fridays. Whatever it is, you choose the review cadence based on the importance and the value and the ROI of it being solved in your business. If you're like, hey, if we crack the nut on this problem, it's gonna unlock all of our revenue and growth potential. It could be a marketing problem, it could be a CS problem, it could be a product problem, it could be a, 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 um, a lead gen problem. If that is your biggest opportunity, lever to pull in your business, then set it three times a week. And the reason why is when people know they're gonna be held accountable, okay? And I always say there's this performance trial uh, triangle of high performance cultures, okay? Three parts of the high performance triangle culture uh, or triangle is one, clear outcome. We're going to this mountaintop. You gotta be very clear on the outcome. Number two, who's accountable? You're accountable for this. You So like you gotta be clear on the team who's involved in solving this problem and be clear about the accountability. And then third, here's the number or numbers no more than three ideally, but one that we're gonna use to give us feedback to know if we're making progress. If this number's going good, I'm gonna be two thumbs up. If this number continues to go sideways or declines, we're gonna have an uncomfortable conversation. And we're gonna review it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until it resolves itself. If you, again, if you just did that, human nature would want people to perform, so they're gonna try to figure out all this stuff I just mapped out. If you wanna get there faster, follow these four steps to fix any problem in your business within the next six weeks. So quick recap of the strategies. Number one, 
you got to do a deep dive. Number two, figure out the benchmarks. Number three, build a plan. And number four, review cadence. As I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, I want to give you an exclusive resource called the Precision Scorecard. You can click the link below to get a copy of that. It is the template that I use to run all of my companies and is literally a one-page scorecard with the key metrics for every core area of your business, the three to five numbers that you should be getting on a weekly basis to align with the monthly to hit your quarterly goals so you can crush the next year in front of you. So click the link to download your copy. If you like this video, please smash the subscribe button. Uh, feel free to share it with somebody that you care about. And as per usual, I want to challenge you to live a bigger life and a bigger business. And I'll see you next Monday. Boom. Am I good?